Hi everyone, my name is Bianca Duarte. I'm 29 years old. I was born and raised here in El Paso, Texas. Both my parents live here as well. I come from a family of five, five, mm, sorry, six. Um, my siblings, um, it's a total of four of us, four kids, one male and three females. As you guys can see, this is, these are my brother and my two older sisters. And the order that we are in the picture, that's the order that we were born. Um, a little bit about my back background. Um, I'm a little bit about the Mexican culture. So in the culture where I come from, it's more traditional, uh, based on family gatherings, family meetings, their even village and culture is really traditional. So we were raised by the book through my through my dad because he comes from Mexico. Um, I like my culture because it shows how families can come together even in good and bad situations. And I believe that shows not only myself but my kids that family will always be there. And I'm not saying other cultures don't show otherwise. It's just I think it has more unity and it's more, I would say, it's more, I would say, how can I say it? Um, it's just family-wise. For everything, we depend on our family. Good or bad, I know they're going to be there. So I do enjoy my culture and that part of, of my family. Um, a little bit more about me. I am a mom. I have two kids. My oldest is going to be 13 in June, so um, I'm a mom of a soon-to-be teenager. Wish me luck with that. I also have a one-year-old, which I'm in the stage of teething, so it's been real difficult because she's real fussy, but it's I love it. I love the fact that I have girls that um, are easy to take care of. I can rely on because I, I think girls are easier and there's more cute stuff for girls but I just think they'll look after after me and what I accomplish in my goals a little bit about my present um, I'm currently going to EPCC um, I majored first in biology which is a little bit confusing for myself too because at first I wanted to be a nurse and then I switched it to business. I'm not an extracurricular girl because as I mentioned before, um, right now I'm a mom, I work full time and I honestly don't have the time to add more to, to the duties that I already have. If I had the time, I would. I honestly would love it. But during my job, um, my previous job that I work with the gas company, I would volunteer, I would take my daughter, and I would see different environments. So I do like putting myself out there if I'm able to. Now that I have a baby, I've limited myself because she's in the growing stage. Unfortunately, um, I have to balance my time with my girls and my school and my work. I do currently not work at the gas company no more. I do work for a trucking company called OT Trucking, which I do invoices, I do uh, the paperwork, mostly like an assistant, but I, also, but I also do the accounting stuff. Like I help with payroll, I help set up the invoices to get the fundings ready every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I do deal with a lot of numbers. I also do help the truckers with the logs, because I have to manage their their driving logs, if they have any violations. So it's a lot of going on as well in my work, which I love it because it's a learning experience every day. It's not that I am stuck in a routine. So I love that about my job. Um, my hobbies, I only have one. And I would say that it's my little getaway. I love to draw. Um, it takes my mind off my stress or work or school or when I need to clear my mind it just relaxes me I feel like as I'm drawing I clear my mind or new ideas come into place 
and no i don't copy i literally <laughs> draw the the picture or the drawing that i need to draw so that's a little bit about my present right now mm, going into my future so the reason why i switch from biology to accounting is because I used to work at a CPA firm a few years ago and I started as a receptionist just picking up calls, basically writing notes, running errands, and little by little my boss saw the potential that I had. She started giving me payroll, she started letting me do the EFTPS files, the tax payrolls, she also let me do tax, um, quarterly tax reports, which it didn't trick me because I was really caught up in the situation. If I couldn't figure out the numbers, I would get into context or get into like the account and just basically figure it out, which it's the adrenaline I felt that made me want to switch to accounting. So that's one of the main reasons why. Now, we always deal with numbers in everyday situation. Like if you're a nurse, if you are an accountant, if you're a secretary, anything like a daily lab, you deal with numbers. So it's going to help me with my future because there's always going to be a job and there's always going to be opportunities that do tax payrolls or any accounting situation. So I think it's it's a study that in the long run, we're going to see it. Now, um, I do keep an open mentality about moving out of state or out of town for bigger opportunities once I finish my career. I do want to uh, finish my basics here in EPCC so then I can transfer to UTIP. And then from there, I also would like to give the possibility of moving, but I do also keep the possibility of staying because everybody's here, meaning my family, and I don't want my girls to not be able to see their grandparents as much as they're used to. So that's mainly my big point um, on why I switch accounting, my present, my future. I hope you guys enjoy this video and thank you so much.